Hello and welcome to the series of Rapid Minor Videos. My name is Dr. Marcus Hoffman and I'm a lecturer at the Institute of Technology Blanchardstown and also the principal investigator of this project funded by the Irish National Digital Learning Repository. The series of Rapid Minor Videos was created in close collaboration with Ralph Klinkenberg and Dr. Ingo Merswa, the two founding members of Rapid Minor. More videos as well as additional material to some videos can be found at www.rapidminorresources.com. I would now like to introduce Ralph Klinkenberg who will talk you through this tutorial. Welcome to Rapid Miner. This introductory video shows how to use Rapid Miner for outlier detection and outlier removal. So let's start a new process in Rapid Miner. Select your repository and your process name. Now we first need a data set where we would like to detect outliers. So let's go to the repository, go for the samples, select a data set, for example the iris data set. And now we need operations to do the actual outlier detection. So let's just search for outlier in the operator box. So there's different ways how we can detect outliers. We can use distance-based outlier detection, density-based outlier detection, or something called local outlier factor or class outlier factor. In this case, we'll pick distance-based outlier detection. Tell the system we would like to consider the 10 nearest neighbors and in the overall data set you would like to remove or to mark um, the 10 most outlier-like um, examples. So if we run the process like that, Rapid Miner adds an additional attribute called outlier. It's binomial, it's either false or true, and since we wanted to find 10 outliers, 140 cases out of the 150 cases overall have been marked as false, no outlier, and 10 have been marked as true, that means as outliers. So looking at the data, we could, for example, sort by the outlier column and would see, okay, these examples are the 10 outliers. Looking at a plot view, you could for example look at a three-dimensional scatter plot and mark where are the outliers in that data set. The red points here are the outliers. So simply select three axes with um, some of the attributes and use coloring with the variable outlier and then you can have a look which outliers the system detected. Now if you want to remove these outliers or focus on these outliers, you would need a filter. There's two ways how you can do it. The first way is you want to keep the outliers. In that case you would tell the system Use only the cases where outlier is true. If we do that, you see only 10 examples are left, and all of those 10 have the outlier value set to true. And these are the outliers. Sometimes it's interesting to focus on outliers because they are the interesting cases. But very often it's the other way around. You want to keep all examples except for the outliers. All you have to do is change this option to true, run the process again, and now you see the non-outliers. That is 140 out of the originally 150 examples. You see here the outliers are gone. Okay, now we have one attribute the outlier attribute, which only has faults for all examples that are left. So actually we could also remove that column. If we want to remove the column as well, we use the select attribute function. And in that case, we just say For example, remove all attributes 
that are named outlier. If we run the process again, you can see the outlier attribute is gone. The 10 outliers are gone, 140 examples left. And the plot view still looks the same. Except that we cannot use outlier for visualization now, but for example, we could use the label attribute. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. This was how you can mark, remove, or focus on outliers. Thank you very much. For further information on RapidMiner, please go to www.rapidminerresources.com or www.rapid-i.com. If you are interested in upskilling, please go to www.itb.ie where you will find more information about our distance learning MSc in computing science, in business intelligence and data mining. Many thanks to the Irish National Digital Learning Repository for funding this video.